grips. Let's go ahead and see what grips are. I'll create a few objects first. Maybe a line here through the middle and coming up this way. So I have two circles, two rectangles, and two lines. So where are the grips? If I select this object here, the grips are these blue square boxes here. If I hover over it, menus will usually appear. But if I pull out this grip, you can see I can extend or shrink this circle as needed. I can grab the one in the middle. I can move it around. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this ortho mode so I can move this circle around more freely. I'll go ahead and hit escape to deselect that. I'll pan over. I'll select this rectangle. And if I hover over this grip, you see I get a few options. I can go ahead and stretch. I'll place it here. I don't necessarily need to pick the stretch. I can just select the object. And then it turns red, turning it into a hot grip or an active grip if you want. I can select there and stretch it as well. I can select here and stretch it again as needed. And if I hover over it, again, there's a menu. I can add a vertex. And now I can decide where to place the vertex. I can always hover over and remove a vertex. I'll go ahead and hit escape to deselect that. I'll grab this line here. As you can see, I also get some more options. I can lengthen it. I can move it around. If I select this one here, I can go ahead and do the same thing I did with the other rectangle. I can select this circle and always pick it up from the center. So you can see grips really help you move and adjust objects on the fly. You don't really have to come up to the modify panel and select stretch or move if there's a grip for it you can easily just highlight your object and then move it as needed so grips are very helpful so always make sure when you can select an object like so hover over these grips and check out what some of the menus are for some of the options of what you can do